What's going on YouTube? Well, that's making me dizzy. Let's minimise that. Right, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to my custom zombies tutorial, getting you started. In this video, I'm going to cover a couple of things. I'm going to get you up and running with the files you need and putting them in the right places, which is a nightmare on Call of Duty Zombies. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to ask you to do one thing for me. Um, if you don't mind hitting the subscribe button because I'm giving out this tutorial, uh, obviously I know a lot of people do it, but I'm going to go in depth with you today and hopefully you're going to find what I give to you very, like, very, very sort of informative and over the next couple of weeks I will be releasing some tutorials on the zombies just to help you along your journey if you're a noob or if you're not a noob or whatever. But yeah, firstly guys, what we need to do is we need to get you downloading. So I'm going to provide you a link uh, in uh, the YouTube description uh, and it's going to have the link that you need in it. Now uh, if I just get it up on here, uh, it is where is it? That one's there. Right, so I'm going to get you this link and you're going to come to this page and you're going to see this. Firstly, you need to get this, but primarily, actually, you need Call of Duty World at War, I suppose. Uh, if you don't have Call of Duty World at War, you can buy it very cheap online for £7, or you can buy it off Steam for £19.99. I did it that way because it was just so much easier than waiting for a disc. Uh, or you can go to the key websites and get a Steam key and just type it in and get it. Uh, but whatever way you do it, you need to get Call of Duty World at War before you do this or it's a waste of time. Right, so you're at first stage one, so you need to download this file here. So download this to your computer. I don't need to download it because I've already got it. It's got everything in there that you need to get started, really. But once you've got that, close that. That won't read it. Right, what we do, open up your download. It might take about an hour or so, depends on your internet speed. Uh, the first one you want to open is codmodtools.ra. Now it's a big file, so it could take quite a while to open. Depends on your computer speed. Now, when I opened it earlier on, it opened quite quickly, but obviously my computer's gone on a go slow, so that's not good. So while that's opening, guys, follow me along. And um, what I want you to do is I've already got it open, but I'm going to open it again. Right. So go to your computer, and now you need to find your raw, uh, your root folder for your Call of Duty. So mine's in local disk program files x86 and because I've gone through Steam it's in the Steam folder uh, then it's in the Steam apps common and there's my games Call of Duty World at War I'll put that over there yours if you've downloaded it off CD it will be under like Treyarch or something if you sit and find it pause the video find it once you've got to your root folder come back to me uh, my phone is going off not a great time right 85% 86 87 come on come on give it a kick up the arse come on so guys, I do have a relatively slow PC. I am upgrading, so these videos will be even better. Right, what you need to do now is it opens this folder up. Very important that you don't put it in when one of these folders when you drag and drop. Literally, the next couple of minutes, you're going to be just copy and pasting files. So if I make this a little bit bigger, what you do, copy, drag it, and drop it. Sorry guys, I need to sneeze. Uh, I should be right. Oh. <coughs> Bless me. Right. So yeah, drag and drop that in here. Do not put it in one of these folders because you just have a nightmare. Put it in there. Right. Once you've done that, you need to come back. Oh, we're done. What am I doing? Yes, I want to abort the current operation. What am I doing? Oh my god. What have I done? Oh, this is really bad. Right, don't do what I did, guys, and actually mess up. Oh, that's why. Right, fair enough. That was a bit weird. Right, uh, next step. Go into 1.2.1. It's only a small folder. Again, open that up. Drag, drop. Once you've done that one, 1 1.3. It's pretty self-explanatory from here, cause you can, as you can guess. Uh, open the folder up. Don't put that in there. Open the folder up. Boom, put it in. Then 1.4. Don't do anything else yet. So once you've done 1.4, boom. The next step, what we need to do is we need to go in and we need to convert everything that you've just put in. Now when I say convert something, you might be lost by now. But don't worry, I'll show you. In your root folder, you want to find the bin. And in the bin, you've got what's called a launcher. So we open up your launcher, 
and this is going to be like the main hub of where you do everything. So think of this as our headquarters. Everything you need is in here. Now, Radiant, that is your map editor. And then obviously everything else is quite self-explanatory. Effects editor is an effects editor. Asset manager is where you put your assets. I don't worry about those because I don't need them. Right. Your next step is to click this little button here called Converter. And now, depending on your computer speed, it will be different. Like for me, it was about 15 minutes. I know some people can get it done in 10. Some people in 5 if they've got a beast PC. I know you're sitting there all smug. Like, yeah, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Right, so if you go ahead and hit that Convert button, uh, pause the video and come back to me once that Convert button has done. Right, you should have done your uh, Convert assets now. Right, next step. So if you go close this, very important, go back to your root folder, not your bin folder. When I was setting mine up, I followed the tutorial and I put it all in the bin folder. So don't make my mistake. Go back to your root folder, open up Nazi Zombie Tutorial version 2.0. Once you've got that open, what you want to do is go into the folder. And again, you got it. Drag and drop. Once that has done, guys, the last step of dragging and dropping is this little file here, the UGX script placer version 1.14. Now this is amazing, uh, obviously it sets scripts up on your map so you don't have to worry about doing them yourself. Uh, with that Nazi Zombie tutorial you've got a Sniper Vaults tutorial, now big respect to the guy for doing it, it's absolutely phenomenal, he gives you a room with everything, you've got your path nodes, everything like that, but I'll show you those shortly, but it makes mapping easy, and I mean easy, like anyone can do it if you just watch tutorials or this tutorial and I'll show you but yeah put that in there as well once that's done you can go ahead and close that uh, not that uh, the next thing you need to do right so you've got everything in everything in your folder that's fine you need to open up this little bad boy down here UGX script placer version 1.14 what we got hang on that's fine version 1.14. Now, I'm not going to do this because I've just literally made one. I recorded a video a minute ago but I didn't set the resolution up so you couldn't see anything I was doing. But basically, create main menu launch button. Make sure that is ticked. Don't worry about your cheats and don't worry about your special effects or your screen images. Make sure Sniper Bolts tutorial is selected. And the next important thing is it's Nazi underscore zombie underscore then whatever you want not in capitals. Nazi underscore zombie underscore whatever you want to call your map now you put it after that underscore you have to have Nazi zombie in underscores because it's the way the game compiles it and the launcher it just needs it just does so I'm gonna not make it but this is what I've done so then I labeled it as YouTube you go ahead and click OK I'm not gonna do it because I've just made one uh, and then what that does is if it says overwrite just click yes yes to all and you'll be fine you should get a no error page so which is fantastic when you're mapping the next step is close that, <laughs> go back into your bin, go to your launcher. Now you will see in here Nazi underscore zombie underscore whatever you just named it. So as you can see I've got YouTube. So what you want to do now is you want to make sure BSP is ticked, compile lights, don't worry about BTS or VIS, I can't read it, uh, connect paths, compile reflections and make sure mod specific map is selected onto your name. So once you've done that, whack that little button there, I'm not going to press it because I don't need to, I've just done it. Compile it, once that's done, it might take a couple of minutes so you might want to pause the video and once it's done, come back to me. Right, so if you've paused it and come back to me, uh, see Nazi underscore zombie underscore YouTube underscore patch, that's my patch. Now whatever you named yours as, you need to compile your patch. You just need to or it won't work. So make sure fast files is selected. Again, in there, make sure it's fine. Patch it. I only take a couple of seconds, not long. Once that's done, you need to come into Mod Builder. In Mod Builder, select your map, mine's YouTube. Build your, IW, uh, build your IWD file and build your fast files. Make sure everything in there is selected minus mod.csv. You don't need to worry about that, that's this. Don't worry about it. Build your mod, might take long. Once that's done, you're ready to run your game. Now, select your mod, YouTube, take your full screen, which is here, R underscore full screen, set that to zero. You've got zero or one. One means you want it in full screen, zero means you don't. Now, I don't want it in full screen because it's just so much easier. So, what we do then is you click run game. 
Now, providing you have no errors, which you shouldn't, you'll come into the Call of Duty World at War, like mine is doing. Eventually. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. I do have a slow PC, and when I'm recording, it's even slower. Right. When you come in, you need to go into your game options, and you need to make sure that your console is turned on. Now that is very important, making sure the console is turned on. Uh, game options, console, yes. It probably will say no, just put it to yes. Next, to run your map, don't click on any of those. If you know what the tilde key is, fantastic. If you don't, I'm going to tell you anyway. Underneath your escape button on your keyboard, above your tab button, and next to your number one, there's a little button in the corner of the keys. It's got like a comma, straight line, and a weird little like backwards L. Press that and you'll get that come up at the top. Then what you do is you type in forward slash map, not mapo, forward slash map, forward slash map rather. Then you go space, and then you go Nazi underscore zombie underscore, and whatever you named it as. Now I named mine as YouTube, so I'm just going to type in YouTube. Whatever you named yours as, go ahead and type that in, and you should be following me along nicely on the Activision loading screen. If you are fantastic. If not, then you've done something wrong. So watch the tutorial again and do it again. You might have just done what I done the first time and put things in the wrong folders. Now that is the most annoying thing in the world, but you don't have to worry about deleting them. Alright, and as you can see guys, the map works. Now this, you get to edit this little room. So you've got everything you need already. You've got your random box, so you don't need to worry about creating that. You've got your perks, got your pack of punch. There is a power button in here, but I don't have a texture for it. You will, but I don't, unfortunately. It's a bit laggy, because I'm on 1080p recording. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of this. So yeah, you can play around there and have some fun if you really want to. But if you want to get onto the good stuff, you want to make your own map. This little button here, gradient, takes you into the map. Uh, when this loads up, it's going to look confusing for you first time around if you've never ever done like this, if you're new to it. But don't worry, I will be releasing videos on how to use it properly, which will be pretty interesting, I suppose. Right, now this on the left here, yours is going to look slightly different to mine because I've got my settings different. I've got mine the way Treyarch do theirs. I'll show you how to do that in another video. The one on the left is what's known as your 2D view. Anything you want to build, you build it in your 2D view because building it in 3D is so much harder. Just build it in 2D and it shows you in 3D. For example, box, side view, box. How easy is that? But let's go into open. When you get to open, you'll see Nazi underscore zombie underscore whatever you call yours. Mine's YouTube. But it will look the exact same as mine. Now, when I watched my first set of tutorials, they didn't tell me the shortcuts on the keyboard. So I was a bit bummed. In the left view, in the 2D view, right click to move around. Now if you've got a scroll bar on your mouse, you're lucky. I don't, because mine broke. But I use insert to zoom out and delete to zoom in. Uh, you can just use a scroll wheel, that's absolutely fine. Uh, obviously it's quite self-explanatory, it's just a grid and it's very easy to sort of like just spend some time getting used to it. Now in the 3D view, right click to move forwards, backwards, left and right. Have a little play around, get used to it, because you're going to have to be getting used to that. To move up and down, you hold on the control button and you move up and down. You can go left and right still, but you can go up and down. If you hold control and shift, you don't move, but you move your angle. So it's very handy for when you're building, that, like, say for example, you want to build the corner of a wall, but you want to make sure it's all connecting. You can have a look. So then what we do is, if you want to select something, it's shift and left click. Now these purple things are called path nodes. When the zombies come through the windows, where are the windows? When they come through the windows, hello zombie, they see these purple nodes and this orange one's the spawner. So when you're walking around and you cross one of these path nodes, they run it because this is what they used to see. Now the way they work is they're outside on the spawner and that's there. I'm going to go into a lot more detail in another video guys, don't worry. Uh, there's the window and you can see if you go into the top view oh sorry control tab on your 2D view basically changes the view like that's top that's side that's the other side as you can see on this little window box here 
Well, you can see it. There you go. It's pointing that way. So that's the way it's going to go in. And there's a little traverse there. That little blue thing's called a traverse. It's what makes him jump through the window. And when he comes in, you can see all this. The triggers, I'll show you what the triggers are. Triggers, basically, when you go up to something that says press certain button to make it work, that's what trigger is. That's all well and good putting them in, but they already come set prefabs. You don't have to worry about them. They're already in there. But when you're putting something like a door in, you build a door, and it's just a door. But until you put a trigger on it and you link it, it's fine. Like, see that says auto 54? It's because the door is auto 54. And then the trigger is basically just linked to the door. That's all it is. That's how easy it is, guys. But if you want to be clever, you just do that and you press the space bar and you move that out of the way. And you've got yourself another door. You can put that anywhere on the map you like. That's pretty much all I do. But thanks for watching up to this point, guys. I am going to do another video with more in depth tutorials inside Radiant itself. Uh, if you've enjoyed what you've watched, if you've been, found it helpful, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out greatly and it helps you out because you'll get more videos. You really will. Uh, I've got so much lined up. I'm going to be doing a mini series, start to finish of making a map. Probably do some live streaming with it and get people involved. I want people's thoughts and ideas poured into my map when I start making it. So that it's custom for everyone. But yeah, thanks a lot guys. And I'm going to end that here as it's quite a big file already. Uh, and yeah, if you've got any questions, just hit me up on YouTube or hit me up on Twitter, Facebook. There'll be links for everything down below anyway. Thank you very much, guys. See you later.